teman-teman, nama saya Priyantika. Teman-teman saya biasa memanggil saya Tika. Saya seorang mahasiswa Sekolah Tinggi Pariwisata Bogor Hotel Institute. Pada kesempatan kali ini, saya akan mempersembahkan sebuah video yang berjudul Perekrutan Seorang Pegawai di Sebuah Perusahaan. Selamat menyaksikan. Pada kesempatan ini, saya akan mencoba menjelaskan mengenai pengertian perekrutan. Perekrutan adalah proses mencari, menemukan, mengajak, dan menetapkan sejumlah orang dari dalam maupun dari luar sebagai calon tenaga kerja dengan karakteristik tertentu, seperti yang telah ditetapkan dalam perencanaan sumber daya manusia. Pada topik ini juga membahas mengenai tujuan yang ada dalam perekrutan. Tujuan dari rekrutmen adalah mendapatkan calon karyawan sebanyak mungkin sehingga memungkinkan pihak manajemen untuk memilih atau menyeleksi calon sesuai dengan kualifikasi yang dibutuhkan oleh perusahaan. Semakin banyak calon yang berhasil dikumpulkan, maka akan semakin baik karena kemungkinan untuk mendapatkan calon terbaik akan semakin besar. Pada topik ini juga saya akan membahas beberapa paradigma yang bisa dijadikan pedoman dalam melakukan rekrutmen dan seleksi dalam kaitannya dengan tindakan kerja. Yang pertama, human thinking adalah paradigma yang hanya memahami pelamar hanya dari dimensi berpikir saja. Sehingga dalam proses mencari dan menentukan pilihan hanya dan murni berlandaskan pada sejauh mana kemampuan analisa, menyimpulkan, dan kreativitas alternatif-alternatif untuk menyelesaikan masalah yang dia hadapi. Sehingga hubungannya hanya dipandang dari relasi berpikir saja. Yang kedua adalah human working. Adalah cara pandang yang hanya memahami calon pelamar dari dimensi kerjanya saja. Cara pandang ini melihat dan memahami manusia hanya dari kesiapan mentalnya untuk bekerja dan melakukan segala sesuatunya secara konkret. Segala hal yang telah direncanakan dan ditetapkan sebelumnya tidak mesti pintar, yang penting kuat untuk bekerja. Yang ketiga adalah human original. Cara pandang seperti ini dalam proses perekrutan dan seleksi hanya akan mencari dan memilih orang yang belum berpengalaman sama sekali. Tidak mesti pintar. Yang penting bisa dibina, diarahkan, dan dibentuk melalui upgrading sumber daya manusia. Okay, welcome to uh, to this uh, selection recruitment day. So the whole purpose of today is to get you working together, to see how you interact with each other, to get an idea of your working style. First impressions, it was a bit daunting. Within, I'd say, about half an hour, the nerves went. Um, we did a, a, a nice get to know you exercise, and that got you talking to people. So that that kind of help things quite a bit. You weren't kind of sat in a room one-to-one, -one. you didn't have that kind of nervousness, it was a bit of a different experience, so that kind of um, made the nerves a little less. I believe passionately that you don't find the right people for a job by sitting them in a room and asking them a load of interview questions. So our process is all about finding a two-way match between employer and employee, and we do that by testing particular skills and attributes, looking at the way that people work with each other, how they interact, we try and replicate the whole work experience. Although they are watching you, um, you know, quite secretly, you're watching them too, and you see how they are with each other, how professional, um, what they tell you about the company. So yeah, it's, it's much better than a, an interview where you're very nervous anyway. Throughout the day, you, you calm down a little bit, and, and I think the people see the true, the true you, maybe. Stop. Every selection day that we do is different, um, but I love meeting the candidates. I love, you know, I love meeting the new clients that we work with, um, and I love how everybody gets involved. There's absolutely no way that you can sit across a desk from somebody and, and show them how good you are at doing your job. There's no rules. You're going to have a minute. To introduce yourselves and it is going to be time. When I arrived on the day immediately you just were welcomed and, and it was just very very warm the whole reception of the whole thing and I particularly believe that an interview is not really the best way of getting the best out of somebody anyway. Very very difficult to sit in a room with somebody for sort of 20 minutes half an hour and try and establish what, what kind of person that is and the, the way that they work. We're trying to create a work situation that people are not prepared for so you're getting something that's much closer to the way that they work. So you see people interacting with others, how they listen to others, that type of thing. If you look at how somebody does their job, they don't sit across a desk answering questions from somebody mostly. They're usually engaged in a group or they're performing or they're answering or listening to somebody. And it's those sort of skills and attributes we're looking for.
Yeah, I think in these situations you need to keep an open mind. I think that you need to be confident as a person and confident in your ability to be able to adapt to different situations. So I, I came to it with an open mind. They're involved in a real life situation where you're seeing people interacting, working with each other, dealing with problems, looking at, at problems that apply to a particular job. And the client just basically has to see what's happening and, and notice the way that people are behaving. And you, you can see the fit with the company and you can see which people are going to work out well. Mm, we got character information. We understood what was under the skin of the people. Uh, you couldn't possibly rehearse for one of your recruitment days and keep up the acts beyond a, beyond a couple of hours. I was just absolutely euphoric because to me it's not just about um, the company finding the right person, it's about the actual person finding the right company. It's absolutely a two-way process. Um, in, in most job situations it's all geared to the employer. Our process is about making this work for both so it's very much about does the employee want to work in this place? Making sure that, that this works for the employee as well as for the employer is absolutely part of the process. It was really good because the way it was portrayed on the day was really, really professional. And you kind of got a feeling for what it was about. It was, it was just an, an excellent day all the way through till I went out left. The day itself was really enjoyable. Met some nice people and, um, and I've, I've enjoyed my day. A really good day where you can, as I say, show your strengths and weaknesses. If you spend a full day with us doing the exercises that we've tailored towards that particular role, I don't think you can beat it. Well, we've got absolutely what we saw on the tin. Uh, that's what we've seen in the business. So we've chosen well and they've delivered well. What did you do before recruitment? I was a sales manager for a print company. I used to work for a company which was based in Poland. That was the company which operated in the laboratory diagnostics field. I worked in a bank, I worked for a newspaper and I worked in an advertising agency. Administration. Uh, well I was unemployed for six months and I just came in to apply for a job that was advertised and uh, they said you're no good for that one but would you like to join us and uh, the rest is history. Why should someone want to work in recruitment? You've got a career, potentially. You've got a knowledge gain. You're developing skills. You're developing experience. Uh, you're helping. You're supporting. You're working to target. It's motivational. So come on, tell me what job's better. Because it's very uh, challenging. Because it's very exciting. Because because it's never boring. Because no no day is the same. Everything's completely different. In most recruitment agencies, anyway, there's a buzz, it's a very fast pace to it, um, and it's a very sales type uh, atmosphere, and so there tends to be competition, friendly competition. But when you get calls from customers that's been dealing with you for years, um, you have a, a good, warm feeling of achievement, you know, that your level of service is still there, and they still depend on your service. What does it take to be a good recruiter? I think um, somebody who really enjoys working with people, um, someone who enjoys the, the, the buzz, the thrill of the chase, as it were. Really, it, it, it's still selling. I think you're trying to sell your candidates to the clients and you're, you're trying to sell, obviously, your services to the, to the clients themselves. Well, I think you have to be well planned and organised but determined and be in the habit or be committed to actually getting results. Um, I think resilience. I think you really need to understand people and their motivation. So you must enjoy the competition of sales. You must be quite thick-skinned because, you know, to gain a sale, sometimes you'll get a lot of knockbacks. Um, and just have lots and lots of energy and really enjoy making a difference to, to people's careers. I think it's mostly probably about personality more than anything else, because obviously you've got to go on with the clients and um, have a nice approach to the candidates. A lot of patience, um, the art of listening, and working quick. Is it well paid? On this side of the fence you definitely earn more. It can be well paid if you are successful. Well, it is if you work hard. If you work hard at it, yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it is well paid. If you, work, if you work hard and you work well, you know, you can do, you can do well with recruitment. You can, you know, you, the rewards are there, let's say. 